hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will see what is idor how to find idor and some report breakdowns too so let's get into the video so as you guys are demanding a ma to make a video on idor how to find idor practical videos so in this video we will see what is idor how to find it report breakdowns and a bunch of other things so first of all let me tell you what is idor i'm here on a wikipedia page here you can see that idor insecure direct object reference is a type of access control vulnerability in digital security this can occur when a web application or application programming interface uses an identifier for direct access to an object or internal database but does not check for access control authentication for example url sent to a website directly uses an easily enumerated unique identifier such as this example like 1234 they can provide an exploit for unintended access to all records you can read all these things to understand what is idor and it's pretty simple you just have to change a user id or something like that to access another thing without authentication it's pretty simple so let me close this now let let's see how to find idor okay so first of all we need to open we are going to solve web got labs let me show you let me show you we are going to solve web got lab this one you can also download it too you will learn a bunch of vulnerabilities in it and we also need burp suite to solve this lab so let me open my burp too here my burp is also opening You can also do port sugar labs if you want to learn idor but i think web got labs are better than the other labs like it feels good it is a great interface you will learn step by step and other features so i think the labs is started maybe um no it's not started this is starting Yes, here it is started. So first of all, let me open my temporary project on Burp. Put it aside. Here is my browser. And let's check the lab. Here you can see that the lab is started at eighty eighty. The lab is started at eighty eighty port and with the path of slash web goat. Let me copy the path. Minimize this tab. Click OK. There is a proxy tab. I'm using here a new proxy because on the existing proxy one two seven hundred zero 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 dot one stuck eighty eighty. The our web code is running on that port, so I'm just choosing another proxy. I don't know why it inter it interferes each other. So let me. here i created another host you can see here now let me go to the local host on port 8080 on location web goat there okay, i added double slash So now here it is opening so this was a lab setup it's pretty simple you can just watch a video on youtube too for this thing so we are learning here idor insecure direct object reference so we are going to solve a lab here you can see that i already solved the lab and if you want to learn how you can do it, you how you can install the 
वे आर गुड इन योर पी सी एंड अदर थिंग्स एंड आई विल मैंशन अ लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो मेक श्योर टू चेक इट आउट सो नाउ वट इज इनसिक्योर डिरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रेफरेंस यर आर सम एग्जाम्पल डेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रेफरेंसेज आर वेन एन एप्लीकेशन यूज क्लाइंट प्रोवाइडेड इनपुट टू एक्सेस डेटा एंड ऑब्जेक्ट दिज आर एग्जाम्पल्स अदर मैथड्स इनसिक्योर डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रेफरेंसेज रेफरेंसेज फॉर आई डोर एक्चुअली ओके सो नाउ वी स्टार्ट टू सॉल्व द लैब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गो यर इट इज टेलिंग एस टू लॉग इन इन टू अकाउंट विच इज टॉम कैट सो हियर इट इज Let's log in. Tom. The password is given here. Cat. So here we are logged in. Now let's go to the another step, which is third step. Observe differences and behavior. So it is telling us to in the text input given in the two attributes that are not in server response. So when I click view profile, there are some things we are watching on our browser. Okay, but there are some things which are also hidden. We are not we are not watching in our browser, so we have to intercept and see that see that attributes that we are not that's not in the server response. Okay, so first of all, start intercept. Let me start set proxy in my browser. Now, let me click on view profile again. Here you can see I got something like this. Let me no, this is not the request. You can see that here it is asking for idol profile. So let me send this to repeater. Now you can see that user ID and role. You can see color, size, and name, which are also showed here. But role and user ID are not showed here. So these are the two attributes which are not shown there. Here you can see that. Correct. The two attributes not displayed are user ID and role. Now let's go to the next step, which is fourth step. It is telling us to give another, like give another way to access the profile page. So the another way is this one, either profile. Because we all know that if we click on view profile, then that's right. We will get the details about our profile. But when we click here, or when we go to this location, we will also get our profile data. Okay, so now let's move to the fifth step. Here it is telling us to playing with patterns, view another profile. Okay, so for this we also have to go to into in uh, proxy, turn the intercept on, and it is telling us to change, make some changes in another one in another ID, which is not. Our ID, like we are, we logged into Tomcat, but we have to modify another someone else ID in the lab. So first of all, start the intercept. Click here. You can see that here we here it is asking for user ID. Okay, so we only know our our own user ID, which is this one two three four two three eight four. Okay, so let me send this request to repeater to check. Uh, hold on. To check what if we don't give the ID here, then we are getting this error: 500 internal server error. If we give our own our ID here, which is this one, then we will get our ID like we are getting nothing actually. If you can see, try again. You need to use the same method. Okay, so. We are wrong here. We have to use the user ID method. We have to put the user ID between this person seven Ds. So it is also showing us internal error. So what we can do is we have to brute force this parameter to get the ID. Okay, so first let me click here. I know what is the number of ID. There are only two IDs in this IDOR lab. One is the Tomcat ID and one is hidden. You have to brute force it using the number payload to get it. It's simple. You know how to brute force it because you are still because you are understanding learning bug bounty. So you know how to brute force. It's simple. 
If you don't know how to brute force, I will also mention a link in the description, so make sure to check it out. Now let me send this to repeater. I know ID. And that ID is so that ID is double eight. Now let me click on send. I'm also getting this error. Here you can see I'm also still getting that error. Yes, here you can see that we are getting a bunch of things. Well done, you found someone else profile name is given here and the user id is given here you have to just make changes in the parameters and in the given parameters you have to play with the parameters to find someone else id now it is telling us to make some changes in it okay so first of all let me turn the proxy off and now let me reset uh, let me refresh my lab It's stuck, I think. Yes, we are on the profile section, and now it is saying, it's telling us to use that knowledge to take the same base request changes method path body payload to modify another bill buffalo bill. You can see that the another user whose ID we given here two in the end double eight two three four two three double eight is named as buffalo bill. And now it is telling us to change the change the change some information like user color to red okay so here are some payloads already given here i think here are hints there are a lot of payloads given there so no issues you can simply change the you can simply change the id or other parameters let's find let's find where is the payload let me click on the reset lesson here are the payloads i think these are the payload this is the payload given here so now let me click on intercept Click on view profile, forward it, forward it, send it to repeater, change the user id to what is the value of user id 2342388 and now give the parameter click on send you will get nothing now go to the make this request again in the proxy tab two three four two three double eight and click on do intercept response to this request and forward it manually and you will see that we will get a response and that's all what we need you can see that the lab is solved because we have made the because we have made the changes here you can see that there are some outputs given here role and other things so let's change this to this all these things are already given here and now you have to forward it and turn the intercept off and you will see that you will get the lab solved here as you can see that it's turned into green color okay so this is how you can find idr if you want to learn more about idr or how to find idr then there are a bunch of write ups available on internet so you can read them i will mention some in the links some of the write ups link in the descriptions this is the this is a a basic example of how idr works it is a report breakdown of idr you can see that the title of this report is idr allow access to payments data of any user so simple send this post request no need no need 
of authentication so you can see that observe the request you will see that there are plain id and user id is given <clears throat> so if you change the key, if you change the user id then you will get a different response or the response of that user id after clicking on after sending this report you will get the payment data of this user but when you change this user id then you will get the payment of payment data of this user so you can just observe other things and you can do a bunch of things from either and you can see that the bounty is also thousand dollar so it's a it's a great vulnerability its severity is also high almost you can see here so this is how idr works and other things and if you want to buy a membership or personal guides from me again you can also go on this link which is buy me a coffee slash vedic pandya so you can buy up my personal membership that i gave there you can see that you can also buy this membership so you can learn from anywhere learn my learn from me personally i upload daily content some some premium contents there so you can join me there so this is for the video thanks for watching like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to visit the links in the description